Okay, so I did a video on how I moved to Barbados for four months, ate a ton of food, and somehow lost two inches off my waist. This is the smallest my waist has ever been. It's never been 27 inches, and somehow I maintained my hips. So for those of y'all who are wondering what the results are, like this is what I was looking like before, and then this is what I was looking like after. All right, here's how I did it, and here's what an average week of working out looks like for me. By the way, follow my Instagram for more, because I show and give a lot more information and share a lot more on my Instagram, y'all. So Monday, I don't work out. I'm never in the mood, I never have the energy, I skip that day as well as the weekend, and I start on Tuesday. So Tuesday is my leg day. I usually kick it off with some hit. I do that for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna link some videos below in case you guys wanna check out Fitness Blender. I usually pop on a YouTube video to make it super easy for myself. Then after that, I do glute activation, which I honestly believe that those have helped keep my butt or my glutes elevated. And then also same for keeping my hips. And for those of you who are new to glute activations, they're pretty much intended to exactly what it says, activate your glutes so that you get the most out of your leg and glute workout. And I highly, highly believe in them. I feel like when I don't do them, I can see like a little bit of a sink occur in my glutes. So usually what that workout looks like is this move right here. I will do 20 of these and then I do 20 pulses. Yeah. Then this little, I call it dog fire hydrant thing. I do 10 of these and then I pulse it for five. So apparently the pulsing is a thing that really helps with your glutes. And I've been seeing great results y'all. So uh, I'm a believer. So I do three sets of those back to back each leg. And then I jump into my leg workout. Now for the leg workout, I actually follow Rave Suave's app. It's called the Better Booty Program. And I've been working with him for years now. I saw my first fitness results right here, the before and after, working with him, but I didn't listen and do his glute stuff like he told me to, so <laughs> the glutes were lacking, y'all. And I'll keep rolling the moves here, but here's the key. What I did is I do four different moves back to back for one set, and then I rest. I don't rest in between those moves. And this has helped to like shorten my workout from two hours to one hour, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. I'll get a short break in between sets and I'll do four sets and that's all I do. Could I do more? I think Rave Suave usually does like five or something like that. I'm not sure, but that's what I've just been doing. I was on, you know, I was living in Barbados, so I didn't want to spend too much time. But once again, if you're wondering what led to me accomplishing those results, that's what led to it. Could the results be better? Possibly. I'd have to try and let y'all know. So here's the thing about Rave Suave. I follow him on Instagram. There's one thing I always remember him mentioning and it was so profound and it stuck with me. He was like, if it doesn't take a strong effort or push to complete your final reps in a set, you're not challenging your body enough and you're keeping yourself from getting your maximum result. So that always sat with me. And that honestly is part of the reason why I've removed the breaks in my workouts within a set. In addition to that, I make sure I add more weight if it's too easy or add tighter resistance bands if it feels too easy. Wednesday is an ab and arm day. So in that video, I said, I believe that Pamela Reef was a game changer for me. And the thing about her ab workouts is they're 10 minutes long, which is great, but they're intense because there's very little rest and you're gonna need to rest in the beginning. And still to this day, I sometimes need to rest. Like I do need to rest throughout, <laughs> throughout the thing. I probably rest like three times throughout the video, but the results are still there. There's no equipment. And I do also think that's part of what's accomplished more of the curvature in my abdomen area. Before I used to use weights and I read somewhere, or my sister shared it with me, thanks Kavia, that if you're using weights, it's creating more of a, when you're doing your ab workouts, it's creating more of a squarish figure. And so me not using weights, I'm a believer because like I said, I, the, the pictures speak for themselves, y'all. I'm gonna link her videos below. If you are a beginner, do the beginner one. If you're not and that feels too easy, I'm gonna link another video below so you can check it out. But that workout, I swear by it, and I do it twice a week. So on Wednesday, after I'm done doing Pamela Reef, I jump straight into some, what are these things called? Jumping jacks and some high knees to just kind of drive up the heat in my body just a little bit more. Pamela Reef does that, but I wanna make sure like my arm are ready to start lifting weights as well. So I'll probably do like about 40 of both of those and then I jump into the arm workouts. So I love my arm and ab days because they're my shortest days. They don't even, I don't even think they last a full hour, but I don't do any hit. And I do think that's attributed to me maintaining my curves as well as what I'm eating. And I'm gonna do a video on what I eat in a full week. If you guys want that video, definitely go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know. So I know to hurry up and 
release that video. So this is what the arm workouts will look like. I'll do this move. I'll do moves like this. I'll do moves like this. And then I do the same exact thing that I do with my leg days. I do four different moves back to back, no rest. And then I do four sets of those. And then I am done with my workout. Now, thing I want to say that's really important I do after every workout is I stretch. Especially as you get older, y'all, you got to stretch because you're going to feel it later in your back and your knees and everywhere else in your body. If you really want to be completely healthy, it's not just about like the aesthetics. It's about completely being healthy. I personally suggest giving yourself like five to 10 minutes of stretching time to fully stretch out every area that you've worked so i usually do that and i usually work on my feet as well which has been really helpful for me with heels by the way let me know if you want me to do a video on that the stretches that i do and the recent program that i did to help me be more comfortable in heels comment below thursday is a repeat of tuesday following the rave suave program friday is a repeat of wednesday it is my abs and arms day again with different moves y'all and yeah that's pretty much what my average workout week looks like so some quick bonus tips so here's some tips for what works for me if you want me to do a video on things that keep me motivated while working out or to work out let me know and i'll share much more than what i'm about to share now so i have to work out in the mornings just me being honest with myself that's when my energy is at its highest i've tried several times to work out in the afternoon y'all i've tried to work out at lunchtime i've tried to work out after work and it just i won't go nearly as hard and if you're not going hard honestly like it's doing a disservice to you because you're not burning as many calories and then second bonus tip be realistic with yourself i think that's the theme I mean weekends we don't work working out we don't there's so much I want to do even if it's cleaning my house etc I just don't have the energy I think my body knows it's the weekend and it doesn't want to work out I do work out on the weekend from time to time if something comes up but it is a rarity because once again I have to be realistic with myself I don't enjoy it and it is a thing or will be the thing that makes me not complete all four days. So I work out during the week, weekdays. And as you guys already know, I don't work out on Mondays. If you missed it in the other video, I used these water weight to work out <laughs> when I was in Barbados. I'll tag them below and add them to my store so you guys can check them out. They work just as well as regular weights, y'all. It, it was legit. So when I went to Barbados, what I ended up bringing with me was my water weights, my resistance bands, and a mat. And that's pretty much all I used to work out. And it worked really, really well, y'all. So that wraps this video. If you liked it, if it was helpful, go ahead and click the like button. Go ahead and comment below and let me know because this gives me more motivation to keep doing more. I need to know what y'all like. Should I continue with these series? Should I talk more about fitness? You know, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, here's another one for you. Enjoy y'all.